Hello, we had an interesting, valuable question come up in class today about uh, uh, plotting a running fix. And this is, uh, this is an example, this is the how, uh, what, what raised the question. This is an example in our textbook. This is our textbook, uh, Inland and Coastal Navigation, uh, second edition. And then this is a running fix. And so we have a light here, and we're taking a, uh, we're, this is our DR position, and we're uh, taking a uh, bearing to it. And the, the question really came up is just, looking at this step one why is this here why do why why do we have this here when we just have a bearing so but let me back up and go back to what is really step zero which is not in the book I just sketched this out here to make a point so the way this actually started was step zero sometime back in life we had a fix at 11 o'clock say it's all random numbers here and scales could be totally wrong but we have a fix, and then, uh, and then we have a DR where we have change of course, and we come up here, and we have a DR at 1220. So this is, uh, so this is our DR, and then we uh, plot out a picture. Then we would say, get out the compass. Let's just say then we take out the compass, and we take a bearing to this light. And that bearing line is plotted right here, and that happened to be at 1220. Then at that point, we could go on the chart and plot plot where our 1220 position DR is. It would be, you know, a 20 minute run on this course at whatever speed it is. And so that's that DR is here. And that's just based on our dead reckoning back from this original fix. So if we, you know, if our compass and you know, if there's no current and no leeway and all of our instruments are correct, then this is probably a good track. But there could be all sorts of things that make it wrong. But so the question came up, though, this. Here's, here's the philosophy. So it's not just about a running fix. There's a little philosophy involved here that's very important philosophy. So we have at 1220, we think we're here based on our, our, our DR up to there. But we then got an LOP of 1220 right there. So now what we do know, what do we know now? We know several important things. First of all, we know we're on this line somewhere. At 1220, we're somewhere on this line, which could be, you know, extended clear out to there. That's, we're somewhere on that line. So that's what we know. And number two, we also know that our DR is wrong. So we know two things. But I want to stress that those are the only two things we know at that point. That's the only two things we know. So the question came up, why don't we just immediately move it up to here? Why don't we move this point up to here and then go on with our navigation? Or I could just as well say, well, why don't we move it here? If we were sailing to weather, like the wind's coming out of this way and we're a sailboat going up this way and, we're, and the wind's coming this way, chances are for sure that we're downwind to where we think we are. You know, so we'd move it maybe over here. But if the wind's here, maybe we'd move it over here. Or if our log is slow, if our knot meter is not calibrated right, we could be up here. The point is, with this much information, we know only two things. We know that the DR is wrong, so we've got to pay attention. And we know that we're on this line. And to move that point at this, and, and, and I have to stress this too, because some books will do go up here and just put a square box or a triangle or some kind of symbol, and they'll just move the, the, our, the position right there and call that your estimated position. We would argue that that is not a valid philosophy. You cannot do more at this point. So what we have to do then is drive on down the road here a little bit, and then at 1250, we take another bearing. And you see, look, already something's different here. Now it looks like our DR is correct. So if that had happened back here, we would have purposefully, you know, um, well, let's see, if we had to put that here, if we had to force that one to go here, then we would be up here somewhere. So anyway, at this point, it looks like the DR is correct, but we still don't know that. All we know is that at 12, we know, we know several things. We have running fix. At 1220, we know we're on that line, and at 1250, we would know we're on that line. And we know, because of where this is plotted here, that we moved this many miles. Oh, well, here's our speed, six knots. So we're moving at six knots uh, for this fi uh, 30 minutes. So we move three miles. So what we do know is wherever, wherever we were on this line, and it doesn't matter where we choose it, but we know which way we were going. And but wherever we were on this line, you can just pick a point and go up three miles. 
and then that's where we then we should end up on this line so the way a, a running fix works is you just look you know which way you know you 1220 you were on this line 1250 half hour later you are on this line you're going six knots in that direction so you have to find in a sense we just find the one point on this line where we can go three miles in that direction and end up on this line and the way you do that is you could you could hunt and peck, but you you don't do that. You just choose any place on this line, and make a you know make a mark. You could do it on this line too, but it could get confusing. I would just say I'll go off to the side where it's out of the way, pick a point, draw three miles in direction three forty five, and make a dot, and then use your parallel rulers and move this line up to this line. And then where these two intersect is where you are. So this is where you are then on this running fix. At 1250, you were here. And then for if you cared to, you could back this up and say at 1220, I was actually here. See, I was actually here at, um, at, 12, at, at 1220. So um, not, not here, not here, not there, but I was actually right there, right about there. Anyway, so that's the philosophy about, the, the question is, why is this drawn sort of short of this line when we actually know that? And there is the, the sort of longish answer to that question.